Okay, so we have Mercy pretty well blocked in with the darks and the shadows. I haven't done her mouth yet because I just decided I don't want to deal with it yet. <laughs> I will. So, what is next? I think we're going to bring some white into this. Good old titanium white. Use a lot of it, so I have a huge tube. Now this is, I was trying to record this earlier and I went through all my explanation of what this kind of paint is, only to find out that it did not record. So, we're going to try it again. This is water soluble oils, meaning they can be cleaned with water. They do not need linseed oil. They don't need turpentine. Uh, there are not as many colors in the water soluble oils as you would find in uh, traditional oils. But I find that they work well enough and it, it's worth not having to mess with all the, uh, the mess <laughs> and the smell. Um, so I can water them down and what I had said the first time that did not get recorded was that with water soluble oils as with traditional oils you have to start uh, thin thin to fat is the rule so when you're starting off on a painting you can have your paint watered down uh, because it's it's going to dry and you don't have to worry about other layers but as soon as you start adding layers when, when you keep adding more and more layers it gets thicker and then if you were to try to put a wash you know take your paint thin it down and wash over that paint is going to dry before the paint layers underneath it and when that one dries it will crack because it cannot move with the layers underneath that are still working on drying. So um, that's why you go you start off very thin and you go to thick as you work. And I think I think since we're doing some middle ground middle ground um, color color or shade I'm gonna throw a little bit of brown in here because because Mercy has a lot of brown in her face even though she's basically kind of a black and white cow there's there's still quite a bit of brown and that's something that as an artist you have to watch because somebody might think oh well it's just a brown uh, or excuse me a black and white cow but if you look closely black is nothing more than super concentrated brown so she has highlights that are brown and areas that are much more black looking right now I'm just working on an area that is obviously brown And depending on your canvas, this is a medium canvas. So even though I put several coats of gesso on it so that it can absorb the oil, it still winds up having this grid right here, this grid-like effect. So it takes, it takes more paint to fill that in. But I'm not going to worry about that yet because I don't have to. Time will come and as, as her face is built up, it will fill in. Sometimes it takes a little scrubbing. And by 
by scrubbing, I mean doing this, rubbing and really working the paint in to get it to, to work. So we will be doing, we, I, <laughs> will be doing more of these videos as, as I'm able to and uh, show you how, how Miss Mercy the cow here is coming along. And hopefully, hopefully if I can figure out how to do the time lapse and so forth, because I'm, I watch a lot of stuff on YouTube. I, this is just my first attempt at making my own videos, my own channel of sorts. Just so that people who have been curious as to how I paint these animal portraits can see the amount of work that goes into it and thought and so forth. And you need to have a basic knowledge of anatomy. By that I mean skulls, I mean especially when I'm doing portraits of animals, you, you've got to understand how their skulls are shaped. And each species is going to be different. Cows obviously have really big orbital sockets. They're very kind of bulbous-like. So you have to understand You have to understand how the hair lays and the skin lays on top of the skull to know how to paint it. And some of that you can get just from looking at the picture. You just sit there and you can figure out, yep, that's, that's a bulging eye. <laughs> Portraits as in with anything else done in the art world for the most part are nothing more than a gradual buildup. Gradual buildup of paint and detail. And sometimes, sometimes you have to completely paint over whatever detail you thought you had. because you discover that maybe it's not as correct as it could be. That has happened. It's good to not work on one area any too long because you just get to where you can't really tell what you're doing is accurate because you've been looking at it for too long. Another thing that's nice about this paint is I can walk away and come back and it will not be dried up like acrylic would be. Just kind of getting the shape established here. Sometimes you have to change your light because it just is shining too much.
sometimes it looks like I have detail on here and then all of a sudden I paint over it. Eh, that's just how it goes. I don't get into major detail until I'm sure that the underpainting is the way it needs to be. also has a certain amount of red in it. If you're looking for a texture in a painting, it's best to get the right brush for it and let the brush make the texture. If at all possible. And just because there are highlights that are not put in here immediately, that's okay. Another thing that can be difficult is when it's brown on brown or black on black, but there's still going to be some amount of differentiation between the two in shadow form or something. Shadow or color. Texture. So Mercy basically looks black and white when you look at her and look at the picture. But underneath she has brown tones. Whether it's in her face or in her ears. She has brown tones. Due to the light that is shining on her face from this direction, this side looks more like a gray, brown, black than this side. You paint in the direction that the hair grows. what helps give it 
realism. Just scrubbing a little bit here to get this. Whoops. Well, I'll fix that later. <laughs> get this into the canvas. I'm working on one area. It's always good to move to another so you don't get bogged down. Well, as this progresses, I will do more videos, but that's a pretty good start right now for Mercy the Cow. There she is so far. There she is there with all her whiskered glory. And here she is here on the canvas so far. So we'll be back. Thanks for watching.